Welcome to the Renishaw stand here at Emo 2021. I'm here with Paul from Renishaw. Great to be back at shows, isn't it, Paul? Oh, it's the first show, big show for nearly two years, so it's really good to see all the people from our, our European customers, partners, um, machine saw uh, friends, seen them face to face once first time in nearly two years, really good, yeah. Now, I want to get into this quite quickly today. But, um, now, your additive manufacturing process, um, could you explain what we're actually seeing here? Okay, what we've got here this year at EMO is uh, a demonstration of how Renishaw can supply a complete end-to-end -end process for uh, AM parts. So, we're a manufacturer of 3D metal printing machines, but we are the only people in that industry who can provide a complete end-to-end -end solution. And that means not just the, the 3D metal printing, additive manufacturing from the powered bed machines that we manufacture in the UK, but also the subsequent machining operations, the process control, the closed loop machining verification of those parts to their finished state. So, right, okay, so what you're actually saying is, is that you're not just actually making the part, it's going through the process of, of being machined, being measured, uh, for the traceability of the part? Absolutely, so uh, we're still in a position where a lot of parts produced in these sort of machines require subsequent machining operations, and that the capability of the technologies that we're showing here at EMO show that how we can capture all the process data during the, the AM build, the, uh, validating the quality of that build, then the subsequent machining operations, collecting all that data so we've got an audit trail and traceability. Uh, so when we display the part to customer, we know exactly how it's gone through the factory. We've got the evidence that it's conformed to a, a controlled process. Uh and, and can this uh, be sort of uh, put out into other industries rather than just medical? Yeah, absolutely. So it's not just the 3D printing here. So that there's this whole closed loop process control, the automated setting up of CNC machines, the verification of features, that's been equally um, as appropriate for many other industries for many years. So aerospace, automotive, where we, we offer our, our probing systems for CNC machining, this is equally applicable to those sort of environments. And are you finding that a, a lot of your customers are, need the traceability through, through you know, the manufacturing of the part to, to, to the end process? Uh, increasingly so, you know, um, medical, aerospace, you need this, this level of uh, an audit trail and traceability of, of adhering to a controlled lockdown process. So you've got the evidence there that you've actually met that the quality expectations has gone through the factory. But we see increasingly now that the need for this data to be used on an ongoing basis to uh, understand what's happening in your factory, to allow you to uh, improve your manufacturing capability, to optimise your manufacturing processes uh, on an ongoing basis. Now, could you just walk me through the process that you're, you're actually showing here? Because we've got uh, three, three parts here throughout the process. Could you explain to, to engineers exactly what's happening here? Okay, so the first stage of this process is the building of the, of the, the, the blank on the, the 3D metal printing machine. So this is the Renishaw uh, Ren AM 500 quad laser system. So as you can see there, we have 10 of these tibial trays which are used in orthopedic uh, total knee replacement surgery built on a, a single build plate. We then validate, well, we're capturing data during this build uh, from the AM process or the oxygen levels and all the key parameters that demonstrate that that build is of the right quality, the material's the right strength, the density is as we expect it to be. We then take the, the build plate onto our, one of our equator gauging systems and we validate the dimensional quality of that build. So over time we start to build a history and use that data for preventive maintenance for process control of the AM process. We then take the, the parts off of the build plate and to a CNC machining sensor where we use our more traditional uh, industrial metrology applications for CNC machine setup, for tool setting, feature verification. Again, getting all that data from that machining process and extracting it for later uh, analysis and optimization. And, and I suppose, obviously, when you're working within the, the medical se sector and that's going, for instance, in your body, it needs to be traceable uh, and obviously and repeatable, I suppose, to a certain extent. Absolutely. So, you know, the, the quality standards and expectations, right the way from the powder that goes into the AM machine at the start, right the way through to the finished part, we, we need to uh, comply with all the re regulations for that particular industry. Uh, so, equally as important is the final certification of that part. So, every part needs to be measured on the coordinate measure machine, which you'll see later that we can validate the dimensional quality of that as the, the final step uh, to complete the process. So really, uh, it's like taking control of the, uh, of the whole component, isn't it? Uh, you're great uh, innovators, uh, Renishaw. Yep. There's not many other companies that can do this, is there? Well, we, we've actually been doing this to a certain extent in our own factory for many years. We, we've automated our manufacturing lines. We've um, got complete closed loop manufacturing uh, on machine 
validation of processes that allows us to achieve high levels of automation. And here at Emo, if you've looked around, you've seen lots of our machine to OEM customers promoting automation solutions for their CNC machines. The, the robots, the parts handling systems are just one aspect of automation. They move the material in, they take the parts out of the machines. What the Renishal technology can do to, to complement that is to automate some of the, the process control, the decision making, the measurements, which are normally undertaken by other people on the factory. So to successfully automate a CNC machining process, you need to consider all the other processes that are carried out, just not the material handling. So we see Renishal uh, probes, near machine gauging systems as being enablers for successful factory automation, which we've demonstrated in our own factories in the UK. And for any companies that are, are, are watching this video, understanding the processes, what can you offer them from a Renishaw point of view? How can you prove this out to them? Well, we've got a, a very wide sort of applications uh, team across the, the whole of the globe, across the whole of the Europe. We've got uh, many, many years of experience and expertise in this. Uh, we have the broadest range of technologies from machine calibration systems, on-machine probing and tool setting systems, near machine gauging systems, and then the final CMM. So we, we offer the whole end-to-end uh, hardware and software solutions for, for manufacturers.